What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is super excited for uh, Diablo 3 Season 28, guys. It is literally less than a week away. We got about four days left until it pops off this Friday, but I really, really am excited to bring you this build. It is the Witch Doctor Mungan Dungu Goo Goo's build. Big Bad Mama Voodoo Dooju build for <laughs> the witch doctor in season 28 uh, so if you guys don't know they did buff the spirit barrage build they buffed it by a big 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 amount guys let me pull up the full number here for you the spirit barrage rune okay spirit barrage rune uh for the mantu rune uh where you have your specter where you do all your damage from was normally six thousand percent weapon damage as cold over 20 seconds they have buffed this looking at my notes here bing bang boom to fourteen thousand percent weapon damage as cold over 20 seconds which is an absolute game changer so that's why i'm bringing you guys this build now so that way you guys can see it in action and maybe if you play witch doctor you can play it for season 28 so let's go over everything that you're going to need this is going to be our speed build version but you can also use the same exact version minus a couple of these passives for your pushing build okay so you're going to need five pieces of the mundugu set we're going to combine this with the captain crimsons okay the two set bonus is the bid bad voodoo follows you around and lasts twice as long you gain 60 percent damage reduction for 30 seconds when you enter the spirit realm which we have spirit walk for and we are going to be spirit walking non-stop and then the six set piece bonus spirit barrage deals 20,000 percent damage with the additional percent on their mana regeneration per second huge okay we pair this with Captain Crimson's for the cooldown reduction and the regenerate per second and the resource cost and then the increased damage um, with those numbers, okay? After that, guys, we're going with our Squirts Necklace for double damage as well as Convention of Elements for extra damage and then also Ring of em Emptiness, which we're pairing with Locust Swarm Pestilence for 300% increased damage, which is fantastic. We're gonna be just cursing everything. Now, one of the key items that you need for the build, guys, is Lakumba's Ornament. This is going to give you a big, huge damage reduction. It's going to be 60% of your uh, Soul Harvest stack is as long as it's at at least two, an additional 2% for each stack, which is great. Um, next, into our weapons, guys, our offhand, we have Gazing Demise. You absolutely need this for the build. The damage of Spirit Barrage is increased. And then Spirit Barrage also gains the Phantasm Room, which lasts twice as long, and the attack rate of the Mund. Uh, the Mantu Spectre is increased, huge. All of our damage is gonna come from that. Then here in the weapon, I have the Vu's Juicer. Now I do have a couple other weapons that you have for here, but this is gonna give Spirit Barrage two additional runes. So basically Spirit Barrage is gonna have almost every single rune with this build, minus one. Okay, now you can run this for the additional ones, which is great. It's gonna give you the um, phlebotomize and the uh, spirit is willing rune. So if we go look, you're gonna have Montu, phlebotomize, fla fla phlebotomize. You're gonna have uh, phantasm, and then you're gonna have the spirit is willing. So we're gonna have everything but well of souls. Okay, huge. This is big, man, because all of our damage is coming from spirit barrage. Okay, now if you don't want to run Vu's juicer, you definitely have some options here. A uh, big option always is Sacred Harvester because Soul Harvest stacks up to 10 instead of 5, so it makes you even more tankier. So if you feel like you're a little squishy, then you could rock this. And then my other personal favorite is Echoing Fury, especially when we're doing speeds. Now, we don't get the additional um, you know, runes, but we do get the additional damage and movement speed to get around the map because we're not necessarily attacking except for with Pestilence because um, Spirit Barrage is doing all our damage. Okay, so those are your options that I would suggest. Into our cube, we have the Barber. Uh, so when we're using Spirit Barrage, now accumulates on the target. When you stop casting it, it explodes for 5,000, 5,500% of the accumulated damage to all enemies. Then we have Frostburn for cold damage because everything's cold on this build. And then Ruining Royal Grandeur to match up the two sets. Now, if you didn't want to run Frostburn, you could definitely run something else. You have some options here. You can kind of pick and choose. I just like this one for the increased damage, but you could definitely run other things. Um, you could run Pride's Fall. You could run uh, St. Arju's Gauge for when you're hitting um, pylons for extra damage and shields. I mean, you, you have a couple options. Speeds, you could run Warzy and Chain Arm Guards. 
I guess. You can run a few things here, but Frostburn, I just want the extra damage. I definitely suggest going with that. Into our skills, guys, and passives, we have Locust Horn Pestilence, which we're going to be casting on everybody. And then they're going to jump to everything, which is going to proc our Ring of Emptiness. Spirit Barrage Mantu for going to deal all our damage. Spirit Walk Severance to be able to get through and just move at 100% increased speed. Now, if you want to change this, you also have the option of doing Jaunt, so it lasts three seconds. Also very good. Then we have Soul Harvest Languish, so that way we get a big um, buff in our defense, so we're super, super tanky. I like Piranhas Pernado, just kind of group things up, Pestilence, and then destroy them all with Spirit Barrage. And then Big Bad Voodoo, Ghost Trance, which heals us and gives us extra attack speed and movement speed. Okay, very good. If you don't, like the one free slot here, guys, is Piranhas Pernado. You can change this and make it whatever you want. I mean, you could do... Uh, you could do haunt, which is very good. You could do horrify. You could do zombie dogs. I mean, you have you have some options here. Uh, into our um, passives, I have gruesome feet for mana regen and intelligence. Then we have grave justice. This helps with our cooldowns. Confident ritual, so we deal more damage. And then you can do jungle fortitude for reduced damage. But I also like rush of essence, so that way we keep this maxed as much as possible. And this is the one I'm going to showcase in our gr. Okay. So that is the build, guys. Oh, one last thing. We, of course, our gems are Bane of the Trap for more damage. Gogok of Swiftness for dodge chance and cooldown and attack speed. And then Zayas Stone of Vengeance for more damage. Now, to quickly go over the um, stat priorities that you're going to need for the build. On the helm, you want Intelligence, Crit Chance, Spirit Barrage. Shoulders, you want Intelligence, Vit, Cooldown, Resource Cost. Uh, the arm or the gloves, you're going to want Intelligence, Crit, Crit, Cooldown chest you want intelligence vet armor uh the squirts necklace you're gonna want cold damage increase crit crit uh instead of intelligence so that's okay the uh lacumbas you can want cold damage int vit crit chance on convention elements if you're gonna run this you want attack speed crit crit and then on the ring of emptiness you instead want attack speed or cooldown instead of intelligence but then crit crit Okay, on the belt, you want Int, Vit, Life, and then Armor. Pants, you want Intelligence, Vitality, and Armor. Boots, you want Intelligence, Vitality, All Resist, Spirit Barrage. Offhand, you want Damage, Intelligence, Vit, Crit Chance, Cooldown, and then the Mana Regeneration is always on there. Uh, and then in your weapon, you want Cold Damage, Intelligence, Attack Speed, Cooldown, Spirit Barrage Damage. Uh, now, one other thing I should mention is that you, I definitely recommend running the Ring of Emptiness, guys, but if you want to swap um squirts out in coe you could definitely run the traveler's pledge setup so that way you get the damage reduction while you're moving and then up to 100 percent increased damage while you're just standing there so that's an option as well i like this this is just what i prefer okay so we are going to go over and do a gr90 guys i have been testing this so because we don't have the additional buff we're roughly doing anywhere from two to three minutes the average has been about two and a half minutes which is not bad at all but once we get that 14,000% buff instead of 6,000%, you're going to be crushing these sub two minutes, no problem whatsoever. Now, how we play the build is when you hop in, you're with your cooldowns, you're always going to keep big bad voodoo up as well as haunt up. You never want these to go away. You want to spirit walk as often as possible to, to get that proc. You're going to pestilence everything initially. You're going to kind of group these up and then you're going to group them up with piranhas per nato and you wanna cast Spirit Barrage at least three times and then rinse and repeat, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's hit it. All right, we got a good map too, this is great. So I like to Spirit Walk in, hit that, right, group them up and then proc everything, get my big bad Vuju up and then just let them do work, okay? You can cast these, let them go, get the extra damage. Now, again, you always want to keep them up, keep all your skills up. It may seem like a kind of a complicated build in a way, but it's not. I mean, the build is very fast, and I can't wait for the for the increased buff. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Prananado really crushes them, really crushes them. I definitely like these big groups like this. I couldn't, I actually couldn't have asked for a better map. Like, honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better map for this. We're just going to keep it rolling. Look at everything just exploding, guys. Now, it seems like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really not. You just want to keep everything up. Group all these bad boys up, right? Just let, just let, 
Spirit Barrage just do all your work. It makes it so easy. I'm telling you. Your cooldown and damage reduction is going to make it so nice. Oh, and with the conduit. Now, with Pestilence, it's going to jump every time you kill something. So, make sure that you're hitting that on those small adds. Group them up. That way, it always jumps. Okay. Again, guys, remember, keep up your, your soul harvest always. You should always have max... Uh, soul harvest whether it's five or ten whichever one that you prefer got them like running out of stuff all right we might just go to the next map don't be a crap one okay this is not a bad map this is not a bad map get them going i really really enjoy this build in reality once you're like destroying things fast enough you won't even have to be casting as much as i am but i really love that my mana is basically just infinite you can really just, like, you could spam things if you really, really wanted to. And the dev notes on this build are really great because this is actually a really good tank build for, like, high GR running. But now that we have this for a speed farm build, it's going to be so good, man. And, you know, Witch Doctors have been at the bottom for a, a hot minute, in my opinion. So it's, it's really good that they have something... That can kind of like be a good push build, but be a good speed farming build. And again, we're gonna we're probably gonna be at like sub two and a half, probably maybe maybe two and three. Yeah, so almost three. So not not too bad, guys. Oh wow, they're still doing holiday gifts. Interesting. I didn't realize they were still doing holiday gifts. I thought that was over. What? That's so weird. That is so weird, guys. I thought the uh, the holiday thing was over. Maybe that starts at uh, season 28. But anyway, let's get back into it. So 249, not bad, guys. But once we get that buff, it's going to be absolutely insane. The build is very, very easy to play. And it's absolutely really fun to play. I actually have a blast because all you have to do is run around and just hit your Locust Swarm, do Spirit Barrage here and there, and then just Spirit Walk and Pernado stuff and keep both of Big Bag, Vuju, and Soul Harvest up. The build is great. And again, like I know I have high Paragon here at 2100, but my gear isn't even augmented. Like not a thing is augmented. I think I have one ancient. So like the build is just really, really insane guys. So drop a like if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe if you're new here guys, and let me know what you think of the big buff coming to the Witch Doctor in season 28. And as always, stay gaming guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.